Hello everyone, my name is Elise, and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the tone of my voice, I am not really happy right now. I'm actually really sad. Um, today, February 15th, 2018, marks the one year anniversary of my friend Tommy, who unfortunately committed suicide. Um, <laughs> and I'm only making this video because I wanted to say a few things. Um, I <laughs> miss him with my whole heart, and yes, I have paint on my face, and yes, they are handprints. Um, Today we, after school, went to this um, anniversary for Tommy and we had a paint war and I got my brand new jeans disgustingly, disgustingly filthy and this sweatshirt, I'll show you, um, there's literally paint and handprints all over it and it's actually still wet and I'm just letting it dry so <clears throat> I'll keep that over there but um he was 13 by the time he committed suicide and I'm not gonna go into too much detail but um <sighs> I miss him so much and he means so much to me and all of his friends we didn't even really hang out but he was just an amazing person and i wish that i would have told him that more before i missed my chance and i'm not crying because one i don't really like to cry and <laughs> i've cried too much about this and I know I should let it go and I'm not letting it go as in like oh whatever but letting go the fact that I can't save him now and he's in a better place and everyone who loves him misses him so much and I can't believe he did it. He was such a happy person. Every day he'd be at school, He, I, I don't think I ever saw him sad, like genuinely sad. I don't think ever. And he was always joking around and always playing around and so smiley and giggly and so amazing. And I remember the first day we found out he did it. It was so heartbreaking. And before he did it, I heard he was trying to contact his best friend, which was like his sister to him. And he was trying to contact her, but her phone wasn't working. And so they couldn't get in touch. And so he just said, it was just talking to his best friend's mom, saying, how are you? How was your day? Okay. And I think he did it after that. I don't wish I could save him. I think everyone wishes to save him. And I can't say that I'm, I can't say enough that I'm sorry for not trying to help. I didn't know that he was suicidal. I didn't know any of this. I, and I wish I could have done something to help. And he was just so amazing. 
Um, I can't. <sighs> he just meant so much to everyone. He was the light of everyone's day. He was so amazing. And now he's gone. And we can't change that. Uh, so, whew, I just, I'm so speechless. Every day he'd come into school and just be so happy and energetic and smiley and laugh all day. So horrible. I guess I'll read you the um, newspaper that I have. I'll be right back. Tommy Ray Barber, age 13, a lifelong resident of Albuquerque, died Wednesday, February 15th, 2017. He was born in 2003, a Presbyterian hospital, Albuquerque, and was in the seventh grade at Grant Middle School. Tommy was an amazing artist and a young age and loved art. He was an avid tennis player with the Grant tennis team, as well as tennis for features. He was a people person who could talk to anyone and made many friends. Tommy loved technology and thought he would make a career out of it. He was a loving son, grandson, nephew, cousin, and friend, and will deeply be missed by everyone who knew him. I can't believe he's gone. And I'm super sorry for the background noise. My brother's watching the show. Um, yeah. Thirteen. 2003 to 2017. Tommy, I miss you so much, and I hope you're in a better place, and I hope that you're okay, and I hope that you're safe now from everything that was harming you here. I don't know who it was. So, Tommy, for what I heard of, was bullied by a couple of kids at the school that I go to. And he was done with it. He didn't tell anyone. And this is why bullying is a problem. So many people die from it. And to people who do bully, this is not acceptable. You need to stop. <sighs> I'm super sorry for this sad video. It's just... I've known Tommy since 6th grade, and... It's just such a bummer that he doesn't get to graduate eighth grade. And I can't believe what his family is going through. I don't know what I would do.